Hey everyone, welcome to Rabbit Mining. And today, well, I'm gonna put a load on this 1200 watt power supply and see if we can get her to wind up. <laughs> For the most part, it's uh, we are running this on these cards. I'm gonna throw everything on here because this power supply is running these three, I believe. And then these four or five cards here are on that. And it is under the 80% rule. I think I'm only pulling like 700 watts on this and it is extremely quiet. So you can barely hear it. Oh, so I don't know. So you see a lot of people, they wind up and they're really loud. So I'm just gonna see if they wind up, maybe that is a potential cause of overloading your HP server power supply. So by looking here, we're sitting at 1450, 1460. I did crank up my 5700s a little bit because of the high gas fee. So I'll just get a little more mega hash out of them. So they're sitting around 57 mega hash right now instead of the normal 55 efficient settings I use. And then obviously I have these on there on this as well. So this, this won't be a part of that. This is about 408 watts, 405 watts here. So if I drop that, I will be about 60, 70 watts over the 80% rule, which is 960 on 1200 watts. So it will be a little bit over, but I'm under the max. So you always want to stay below the 80, but I'm actually going to put this up at the 80, a bit above, and see if we can get it to wind up and scream. <laughs> so this is for testing purposes. If we see an explosion, well, that could suck, but at least we catch it on camera. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and we'll see if we get this thing wound up. I would like to thank the sponsor for today's video, CD Key Offers. Uh, they have codes here for video games, software, uh, antiviruses, you name it. They pretty much got it. Here we're looking at Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM. Now to purchase this, you simply just hit buy now. If you want a more discount, you hit discount code bid20, apply, and you will get another $4 off of this USD, $16 now. So you're getting Windows 10 Pro for $16. You'll submit your order, use whatever payment process you want and pay now. Once you get your product key, simply hit next. And it'll ask you, you'll get the best thing, activate. And we're activated this copy of Windows. It is now active, so there you go. Now before I do this test, I still have that big guy down there. Links in the description if you want to check out a 2400 watt power supply and get one for yourself with that special game changer breakout board from parallel miner but uh before i do that i do eventually have to put everything on that but we still won't even come to the maximum power of that because of it being 2400 watts <laughs> and my total was only what 1450 there so but we are going to try that out in a later video but for now we know uh i did win panda's last giveaway with this getting this uh 580 four gigabyte card so I'm going to test that on, there's a pool that's supposed to be pretty profitable for this. So I have two 4 gig cards that I'm actually going to test out. He also sent me a little extra bonus here. Another 1200 watt power supply with some uh, cables here and a breakout board. So if we do blow that thing up today, we do have a spare. So thanks a lot, Panda. <laughs> we have everything off except for the 3060 Ti rig. And as you can see, we're at about a 426. So I guess about 405 based on our previous test when we did it, plus our 20 watts or so, 25 watts, because we do have two PSUs there. So it worked out to be about right. So yeah, we are right on our numbers, on our calculations. This is off, so we will be dropping 425 watts off whatever that is. And yeah, so we should be good. We won't be overpowering that, but we will be over the 80% limit. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of the splitters I'm using. So here we have an 8 pin to uh, split off to two 8 pins. I'll be using one of these per card for the top. And then I'm using a splitter, one for two risers, as you can see here. And you can get these from Nerd Gears. These are great quality, high quality splitters. They're amazing, nice braided, handy, neat. And for our extension cables, six pin two are six plus two which would be eight uh, i'm using these are from parallel miner you can get them up to three feet long but essentially as you can see it'll reach from there all the way to this side so we got plenty of room to fit in that h into that hp server power supply okay so we are all hooked up we just got to power up and see if anything burns so just want to point out here as i said here is a splitter 
go into each card by itself and then it's run into its own on the HP server power supply and to have these two risers split between two risers from one of its own six pins going into there so two risers per PCI Express and each card if it is dual has to be on uh, its own splitter its own system altogether never daisy chain between cards that'll just lead to fires <laughs> I do have a 4 gig card here, as you see it's a single pin, just like I have on my 3060s. I just have them split between the single 8 pin and the riser, so it's all using one PCI Express per card itself, including the riser. Now that's only if you have a single 8 pin on your cards. Now, like I said, if you have a double, you do have to use a splitter and one PCI for the card. So I'm going to power this up and see how if it even turns on. Okay, so I plugged in the HP server power supply. Now all I got to do is hit the old on button here before we turn on our motherboard. So on, looks like we got power across our cards. Uh, this one might not have power, but I guess we will see in a minute. I will turn this on and see what happens. And there we go. Oh, it's spin. Oh, there we go. So yes, we have power. I am running the motherboard off the ATX power supply. But all the cards are on the HP server power supply. So I'm going to tell it to start mining and see what kind of power draws we have. And if we can hear that thing wind up. So we are on, we're mine. We're just going to take a look at our power here. So we are at about the same amount of power. So swapping over those cards and putting it on that did not make us gain or lose any type of power. So efficiency wise, as you've seen, initially the HP server power supplies do use more power. But as it looks like as we put a load on it, it works out to be about the same amount as an ATX power supply. So when it comes to efficiency, you don't have to worry about that. Now we just got to let this thing spool up, warm up a bit and see if it starts sounding like a jet engine. Okay, so I shut my 3060 Ti rig off. It's only been like five minutes. You can kind of start to hear it. We're just going to look how much power we're pulling out of it. So we're at like 1040, 1040 watts. Subtract 20 for the system and that power supply. So all the cards were using about what? Uh, about 1,020 watts or so on that HP server power supply. And you can hear it is starting to wind up a bit. So we're just gonna let it go for maybe an hour or so and see if it really starts whining. Cause it's still kind of quiet. It's not quite screaming yet. So let's get her going. <laughs> okay so it's been like four hours and I think it got a little quieter actually here I'll try to get up close here you guys hear that so yeah it is not that loud we are over the 80% limit so I don't know maybe I'm just lucky and this one doesn't spool up that loud I don't know but yeah the ambient temperature, it's not cold or anything down here. We are a room temperature, I guess it would be. So, who knows? I could just be lucky and it's just not loud. So, who knows? I might have to try another one sometime or something. But, that is my HP server power supply. It is not screaming like a jet engine, which I wish it was, because I do like that sound. <laughs> but, yeah. So, we're all going again. We're rocking here. Guess I gotta load this thing up somehow. We'll get to that some other time. Yeah, for the most part, there is our server power supply test. We do have every card here running off that one. It is over the 80% limit of 960. We're putting a little over a thousand on it and we're still fairly quiet on it. It's not too loud. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next one. Rabbit out.